What up, what up, what up? It's yours truly, the one and only Hoop Pharaoh. The Dallas Mavericks are a complete dumpster fire disaster. Uh, there's no need to waste your time. I know you're on your grind. Look at what the Dallas Mavericks have done of late. This is ridiculous. And by the way, they're losing to teams like Charlotte. Like, for crying out loud, Charlotte, the minute LaMelo Ball fractured his ankle, Charlotte said, we're literally trying to lose games. And the Hornets have had their way with the Dallas Mavericks. If you enjoy the quality content that you're about to see, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video and I will give you more. I promise. The Dallas Mavericks since acquiring Kyrie Irving have had a couple ups, a lot of downs. Oh boy, Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks are looking to avoid rock bottom as they host the Charlotte Hornets who without LaMelo Ball, obviously no Miles Bridges this year, they're clearly in tank mode. But that didn't stop Charlotte from balling out in Dallas on Friday. You saw Nick Richards with the oop, then Gordon Hayward gets the transition bucket. How about Mark Williams inside? Little boy day tomorrow. It's the Hornets stepping up and stepping out with an early 18 point lead. Could Dallas respond? Kyrie Irving says, yes, we can. Irvin with a little magic for Dallas who desperately needed it. Luca is going to knock down a three pointer here and that would cut the Dallas deficit down to seven. But here comes Charlotte once again. It's Hayward lining it up and knocking it down again. It's Gord. How about 25 points and nine assists for Hayward? That dish to Mark again. At the half, it's all Charlotte. Third quarter, P.J. Washington joined the fun. He had a game high 28 points. Washington now propelling the Hornets to a double-digit lead again. They're up 18 once again in the third. It's Hayward somehow, some way for his team. Gordon made a couple of plays. It's all Charlotte. They're up 21 on Dallas. The Mavs are competing for a play-in tournament spot here. Luka taking over. The Don had 34 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists. Dallas once again fights back. Their deficit is 5 in the 4th. It's Irvin. Kyrie had 18 points. Dallas, though, needed a stop late. And Irvin and the Mavs are not going to get it. A cold-blooded three-pointer from DSJ Dennis Smith Jr. Remember me? Burying his former team, the Dallas Mavericks, with a trade ball. Dallas loses to Charlotte, a game that you just can't lose at this point in the season, right? Well, they do it. 117-109, Charlotte, your victor. Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks are still in Charlotte. They're still taking on the Hornets, and Charlotte is still giving Dallas all they can handle in the first quarter. It's P.J. Washington crashing the boards. He had a season-high 12 rebounds to go along with 21 points. Remember James Booknight? He's attacking the rim and getting the deuce. And then a beautiful pass inside to Mark Williams, who is starting to show some really good signs as a basketball player. Luka kicked this game off 0 for 6, but he would find the range. Make it hot! Ah, in my Marlon Wayans voice, the Don finished with 21 points in the first half. That's how you correct your wrongs. In the third quarter, Luka goes back into his frustration bag after missing a shot. Luka gets his 16th technical foul of the season. That's a one game suspension. Dallas will have to deal with that later on. But for now, the Don still playing, trying to help the Mavericks come back and get a huge victory. He knocks in another three. Luka knocked in seven threes to be exact, 40 points in the game. Of the end we go is Thor. What a name. That's like a, that's a great last name, by the way, Thor. This is a great finish from Kyrie Irving. Oh my goodness, it's Kai. Pretty much touching the top of the glass. And then Irvin for three. Dallas is going to take the lead as Luka nails another one. 92-90 midway through the fourth. But Dennis Smith Jr. is enjoying 
the beatdowns he continues to put on his former team. Gordon Hayward knocks in the three there off the Dennis Smith penetration. And then DSJ just literally free. Nobody picks him up. He's the most athletic guy on the court. Probably a, a bad idea to leave him open around the rim. He throws in the alley oop, and it's Charlotte throwing in the face of Dallas once again. Back to back dubs by Charlotte over Dallas. This one by six. It's put up or shut up time for Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks. They're in Philadelphia to take on one of the East's best MVP candidate, Joel Embiid, and the Philadelphia 76ers. And first quarter, it's just Embiid, a man amongst boys. Embiid, the deuce. Other end we go. Kyrie Irving lining it up and knocking it down. To be fair to Kyrie, he has brought his A game offensively to Dallas. It's Irving in transition. Dallas takes the early 14 10 lead. Off the failed layup, the Sixers got a dude that's just been on another level this entire year. Embiid, the deuce plus the foul. Could Joel get some help? Tyrese Maxey lines it up and knocks it down for three. But here comes Luca in the mouths one more again. The Don accepting the screen from Dwight Powell. That's as easy a bucket you'll see Luca get all game. And then the Don, a floater. A little bit of a contest from Embiid there. Dallas up as we took a break. Third quarter. You do not want to see this. Joel Embiid going up for the big time block. You want to see that. But you don't want to see the aftermath. Apparently, Embiid injures his shoulder. Look, Dallas ain't good enough right now for Joel Embiid to be getting hurt. Now, let's be honest about this. Philadelphia's got bigger fish to fry. Maxi knocks in the three. Embiid, the trooper, he'd stay in the game. And elbow looks fine there. Shoulder looks fine. Everything looked good right there. Joel had 25 points and nine boards. Luka, the Don, Doncic had 24 points. Fourth quarter. The Mavs go back to Kyrie, and I mean, that's just like four moves in one possession. Do you know how good you have to be to be an NBA player? I'm just asking, like, Irvin is hitting these dudes with just like multiple moves in one possession. It's crazy how talented these guys are. And being in Philadelphia is going to get the win, though, despite Kyrie's talents. And be doing it on both ends of the court. That's why he's in the MVP conversation. Knocked in some jump shots and then a huge block on Luca to seal this one for Philadelphia. It's the Sixers 50th win of the year. They take care of business 116 108. Two teams going in opposite directions at the biggest time of the year. Jimmy Butler in the Miami Heat climbing towards a six seed out east while Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks are out of the play-in tournament if it started the day out west. Luka, though, playing with everything he had in this one, and he got some help from Tim Hardaway Jr. Hardaway had 31 points. Other end we go. Jimmy Butler lining them up, knocking them down. It's more Doncic spinning. Luka was just playing out of his mind in this one. You think he understands the position his team is currently in? We're still in the first quarter. Big numbers on the board. It's Butler running the floor and being rewarded for his efforts. Second quarter, Kevin Love channeling his inner Jimmy Butler fading away. Then back to the Butler show. Around the same spot that Kevin Love did some damage, it's Butler getting it to go. Miami up at the half, third quarter. It's Butler inside the Zeller. How about Cody? 20 points, a season high, also had eight boards. Dallas wouldn't quit, though, because Luka wouldn't quit. Ain't it kind of like do as I say and... Or is it do as I do and not as I say? Luka Doncic was going crazy. Dallas cuts their deficit down to seven. Tyler Hero and Miami respond. Hero knocks in the three. And then Love showing no love to Dallas. The lead doubles again. Here comes the Mavericks with one last push. It's Irvin effectively scoring. And then Luka, two of his game high 42 points. But when it's winning time, Miami just simply made more plays. They got up so many points early. 
that it was just too much for Dallas to overcome late. Jimmy Butler had 35 and a season high 12 assists. It's the Heat getting the much needed win, 129, 122. A pretty wild one in Atlanta from State Farm Arena. It's Trey Young in the Atlanta Hawks looking to put Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks out of their misery. Kyrie, though, he came to play. Irving, night was just getting started. That pull up jump shot is good. Other end we go is Jalen Johnson for show. And then how about DeJounte Murray getting to his spot and floating it? Trey Young in Atlanta putting on a show in the first half. A little now you see me, and then now you don't. Atlanta with the lead as we go into the locker room. No need to waste your time. I know you're on your grind. Fourth quarter we go where well, this one got good. It's Luka. A modest 22 points, seven rebounds, seven assists for the Don. But this night was controlled by his backcourt mate, Mr. Irvin, who is just sensational from start to finish. May I interest you in 41 points for Kyrie Irvin. This game is tied up at 121 late. The tip in is good by Sadiq Bay. Atlanta's up by two, three seconds to go. Dallas needs a bucket. Christian Woods gets fouled. He goes to the line, makes the first and misses the second free throw. The ball goes out of bounds. Dallas retains possession. They're down one with 0.4 tenths of a second to go. They insert JaVale McGee and the big fella gets fouled on the inbound alley. Now the Mavs got a chance in the closing seconds to take the lead. But JaVale misses the first free throw. Now, at best, he can tie the game here. McGee does just that. We're tied at 123, and we will go to overtime. In the extra period, not a lot of scoring. That's the biggest bucket as Atlanta takes the lead, and they would go on to win a tight one, 132-130 over Dallas.